What's going on guys? So we are out here at the 2024 Houston RV Show and we're gonna take a look at this Volante fifth wheel. Now this is a mid-profile fifth wheel, which means it's a little shorter than a full profile. And this has some features that I wish this one had. And this one has some features that I wish this one had. Like for instance, a real outside kitchen. I would love if this unit that we're gonna show in this video had that outside kitchen because that's a true outside kitchen because it has a sink. That said, let's take a closer look at this one. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so let's look at the numbers. This is gonna have a cargo capacity of 2,148 pounds, gross vehicle weight rating relatively light, 10,270 pounds, which means the dry weight on this unit is gonna be 8,062 pounds. That is absolutely nuts because the size of this unit would make you think that it's much heavier than it is. It has a Kurt Rotoflex pin box up front, which is nice, but that is kind of crazy because this does not look like it's that light of an RV. That's really cool. Anyways, we're not going to spend too much time on the outside because it's really noisy out here and I want to get to the inside because I know that's what you care about. The doors are kind of thin right here, but it does have double slam latches. It is a good storage area because I'm assuming the frame isn't terribly thick. Looks like it's maybe a six inch I-beam frame, maybe an eight inch, but because it's so light, it really doesn't need a, a bigger frame than that. And it's giving you the capability of having a lot more storage up here. Got a lot of solar prep there from Go Power as well. Looks like you have some more stuff going on under here. Possibly some hydraulics if there's... Nope, just storage. That's really cool. That is super heavy. Back here, plumbing. Additional storage right here. Good spot if you want to put, I don't know, maybe a TV, boombox, a cooler. I don't know, but that's a cool spot. Lippard solid steps. These are kind of the... Well, these are kind of an interesting solid step. These don't have the more narrower side rails. Not an upgraded suspension interesting kind of chrome accented or polished accented outer part of the wheel the wheels look really good actually i would definitely recommend upgrading the suspension on this though this has electric stabilization on the front and back of course the front is the landing gear and the back has kind of like a wedge style jack up there for stabilization you have your outside two burner cooktop hot point refrigerator it would have been cool to see that kitchen on this unit though but check out the window situation super cool let's walk inside so this is going to be the 269 RK, obviously stands for rear kitchen, and this is a rear kitchen unit. This is super cool. Look, you got a televator. Drops down in there. This part slides out. You can use this as a desk or even like a business area. I could totally see somebody working from here with their computer. That is their monitor, or they put a higher definition version of a TV in here that they use as a monitor. And you just have kind of like this work command center. That's really, really cool. Over here, this is also interesting because this looks like real solid surface material. It does, but then it kind of doesn't. No, nope, that's a real solid surface material. Looks like Corian. That's really nice. A lot of drawers. I love drawers in a kitchen. That's what makes a kitchen to me. I love the lighting accent underneath it. The color tones in here are great. And just the sheer number of windows that you have. There's windows everywhere in this unit. And it absolutely brings so much light in. This is super cool. I like this a lot. If you have a lighter duty, like a one ton or three quarter ton with more like 3,000 pounds worth of cargo capacity, this should totally be within what's capable of being towed by it. So that's really cool. Sale price, $49,995 off of a $62,806 MSRP. So it's $12,811 off. That price still seems a little high to me, even though it's probably a good price. You know, sometimes my brain defaults to an RV being lighter or smaller, and it should be less expensive. But if they do it right, then it might actually be a little bit more than you think. So this is a Everchill 12-volt refrigerator freezer. A lot of extra storage in here. Would have been nice to have adjustable shelf space in here. But then you come over here and you have a really nice pantry. I don't really think for this size of RV, you're gonna run out of storage. You got storage everywhere. I mean, everywhere. And you could easily fit a coffee maker right here. So that's a great spot for one. But you have your theater seating here. This is a great couples unit. I don't really think you'd wanna get this if you have a large family or kids at all because it's not really designed or set up for that. But this is great for those folks looking for a smaller, lighter fifth wheel. It's still kind of tall, but just something a little easier to tow, a little lighter on your tow vehicle. 
All right, let's walk up this way. So it has a really good size bathroom. That is a full size shower. That is really nice. That's the same size shower we have in our 43 foot Brookstone. So that is really nice. Porcelain foot flush toilet, a lot of room in front of it. It has a plastic sink. I do think they probably could have gone a little bit higher end with that. Medicine cabinet in here. But I'm really liking what I'm seeing with this so far. I'm gonna see if I see anything related to any solar on here. I don't see anything on here. I see that it is 50 amp service. It's braced and wired for two ACs. This one might actually have two ACs. It does. This one has both ACs in it. And then in here you have probably the largest, longest wardrobe I've seen in such a small fifth wheel in a long time. A lot of space up here though, which is really nice. A backer for a TV. They've offset the window so you can put the TV there. You have your AC unit up here, king size bed. I like how they did the nightstands actually. That's not too bad. You're not gonna hit your head on them because of the angle of which you get up, but you do have the ability to charge your phones, your iPads, put your coffee up there. And then you have a spot here for a CPAP. That is super cool or whatever else you wanna put here. I'm assuming there's power here somewhere. I don't really see power though. That's the problem you might run into is I see no power outlet here and I think that's a big miss. This was almost perfect. And the problem is, is you can't run your CPAP unless it's battery powered, which I know a lot of them are, but still. You have power here though, but they really need to put power there. All right, let's open up your closet. Then you have mirrors on each door. They slide open. It is prepped for washer and dryer. That's really nice, or at least a combo unit. And I'm not sure if you would put your dryer vent. Yeah, dryer vent back here. So this is really more of a combo unit prep, but that is a great spot. What do you think about this unit? I'm kind of digging it, to be honest with you. Uh, the price actually is making a little bit more sense considering the fact they're still using solid surface materials. They have a televator in here. It's designed to be towed by a lighter duty vehicle. And when I say lighter duty, I still would not put this in a half ton truck at all. No way. A uh, three quarter ton truck with around 3,000, 3,500 pounds worth of cargo capacity should be able to handle this. But of course, you want to be careful and not overload either your RV or your truck. Anyways, let me know what you think. Leave a comment below, please. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again soon.